The polls are now in, and pretty much every one of them, except for Investors Business Daily and the LA Times, predict a Clinton victory of two or three points, um, including, unfortunately, Rasmussen, who now shows Hillary leading by two. Probably Rasmussen is reflecting uh, a shift on Sunday night as a result of the Comey announcement, because over the weekend he had the race tied. But these are all largely theoretical numbers. It's not that the polls are wrong, it's that they cannot predict who actually votes. And uh, there is a discernible enthusiasm gap in all of the polls between Hillary's voters and Trump's voters. I've explained before how Rasmussen, when he drills down and gets the 88% of a sample that say they have already decided who they're voting for, uh, when he does that, he finds Trump ahead by at least 10 points in two of his polls, and I don't know about last night's, but a significant lead. So it's clear that the issue here is largely turnout, and Hillary has not given her voters a reason to come out to vote. Um, not being indicted is not exactly a qualification for being president. And uh, the idea that I'm not as guilty as they all say I am uh, is not a sufficient rationale. Hillary is relying on a mechanical ground game to bring people out to vote, where they identify their voters, they identify if they voted, they call them or visit them to encourage them to come out to vote and they um, do everything but <laughs> kidnap them and drag them to the polls. Uh, Trump is relying a little bit on that kind of a technique, but also enthusiasm and passion, and uh, his voters certainly have that. And all of the polls show that Trump supporters are more passionate about their candidate than Hillary voters are, and, uh, in, and are more likely to vote. The question is, will the Hillary voters come out or not? And uh, we should know that fairly early in the evening. But um, that's what everything hinges upon right now. Um, now, the FBI and the federal government have done their best uh, to make this a rigged election, uh, as Trump charges. The uh, FBI statement yesterday was just beyond the pale of what you should be allowed to do uh, 42 hour, 48 hours before the polls open. But it may not be enough to overcome the passion of the Trump voters, and um, we just need to stay tuned and have a look at it. Thanks for watching.